and France just six or seven metres short now of the Irish line. It's flown out to Ficou and a lovely pop pass off to Olivon and France are going to get in. Wonderful, Olivon scores the try from France. So we are set to go All at the Aviva place. Stadium. It's the final game of the second weekend of the Guinness Six Nations and it's Ireland who get us underway and it's an Irish side you feel that will want to settle and settle quickly. Reese Ruddock up to the 22. Come on. Burns. More good defending right on that gain line from France. Ireland finding it hard to get any forward momentum. Gibson Park takes it on himself. Ty Byrne looks Back to do the clear out. So bon ici, but pas ici. Second attempt of the afternoon, and it's successful on this occasion for Billy Burns. Up go the flags. And then the kick comes from Gibson Park. And Keith Earls is after this one. Villiers underneath it. So and it's a penalty Ireland. Winger. And a little Let's bit heated. Here we are. Be the one. Red scrum hat. Yeah, clear trip. Number, I think it's a second row, isn't it? Um, hang on, hang on. Um, the issue is, I know, but the problem is you've tripped him, and a trip in rugby is a yellow card. Stay ten, rest stay this. Ian Henderson will oh. claim, and Ireland will go to the mall. Oh, and Rob really Herring is at the back of that mall, and Ireland have got great body positions and decent momentum as well. And France have been marched back about ten metres. Oh. Gibson Park as France come flying off the line That's and Ireland spike. find a way out wide and away goes Hugo Keenan and James Lowe is looking for it and Lowe has it and he's there. I don't think so. I think he's got a foot and touch on the far side. But it'll be yeah, checked. So I've definitely got a grounding, so on field try. Top. Just bear with us, Luke. This is close. Yeah. No try. Touche. Jalibert, Ficou in midfield. Jalibert once more, France with a bit of ball in hand, and beautifully weaved from one player to the next, and then somehow appearing with it is Peno, and France just six or seven metres short now of the Irish line. It's flown out to Ficou, and a lovely pop pass off to Olivon, and France are going to get in. Wonderful, Olivon scores the try from France. 29 minutes it's taken them to wake up. That from Jalibert is unbelievable. I mean, we don't expect anything else, do we, from Antoine Dupont? The ability to fight through contact, it's the confrontation mixed with the balance of deft skill. OK, there's a bit of a bounce pass here, which always sets the defence up. Jameson Gibson Park, well, you look back and say, well, maybe I could have done that slightly differently. It's always tempting, though, to rush out. Has to rush out on the man, though, but brilliant from France. Dupont. To a bye. Herring meets him on the game line, but by pumps the legs and tries to turn the corner and get forward momentum again. Advantage. Advantage being played, Ireland on the wrong side. Chose, chose the wrong way. Keane Healy's the one. That's accidental. Back to the penalty. One away. So then, Matthew Jalabert with a chance to extend France's lead as we head towards the half-time break and up go the flags and the sun is out in Dublin and the sun is shining for France. France marching forward towards that Irish line. Every carry is delivering offside, that's significant that. distance and Ireland are offside and it's a free play for France. Advantage France. Dupont goes looking for it. Somehow Ireland need to hold France out. It can't be any more than three if they have designs of winning this game, you feel. Pass will go to Dula. He goes past the first tackle. It was Lowe who didn't make it, and it's Benno who finds the corner. Around Damien Benno came. And that coming from a missed tackle from James Lowe that set France free, and Benno is in for his seventh international try. It's an offload with the wrong hand, which is brilliant. Oh. He's trying to fend his way 
into the corner. Offloads to Penno. Good finish. Ireland don't. Well, they do somehow come away with it. I'm not sure how, but Kelleher's into the game, and Kelleher has a try. Well, we need to go back and look at that because it looked like Ireland had botched the line out, but it's regained. And what an impact from the bench from Kelleher. Eighth international cap, first international try, and there might be life in Ireland just yet. We've seen it already in this game. It can bounce in any direction, and you've got to be there to make the most of it. Time off, please. Great work from LaRue at the breakdown. Ruddock again. Antonio puts him to ground. Quicker ball for Gibson Park. Ross Byrne and Ronan Kelleher. Byrne again. Tacks that gain line. Needs support. Fiku over it. And Ireland are going to get pinged here. Back we come, just over the yeah, shoulder. We need to be careful. Ross the Byrne. Ooh. There is a... The jackal was Ooh. fine, but the first tackle is... Cool. That is a big call. Over the shoulder, contact with the neck. Big, big moment in this game. On its way from Byrne. That looks shot. good. That looks very, very good. Take a bow, Ross Byrne. It is a two-point game. France must make tackles and hope for a mistake. They daren't do anything that will draw a penalty from the referee. Ring rose inside the French 10-meter line. We're in the red. Ten phases for Ireland. Ross Byrne, it's too far away right now for a drop at goal. This is all about discipline. This is all about the French discipline. What have they got left in the tank? What has Sean Edwards done over the past couple of seasons to instill those values that they don't give a penalty away and they win this ball back? Ruddock. One last ask of the body. He's moving, don't bother. Gibson it, Park. Ross Byrne. Tight Furlong. Smashed on the gain line by two Frenchmen, but the ball's still there for Ireland. Ringrose puts the head down. Ireland haven't like... yet, yeah, just about to say it, gone backwards rather than forwards. Keenan tries to right that wrong. He has the ball. Who's got the oh, ball? I think hands. France have the ball. They've turned it over, and that will be that. On side 22. They have the discipline. Use they it. have the know-how. And they have the game in Dublin. Doulan for the stands. France celebrates. They have the win. A hard-fought win built on the defence of Sean Edwards in the final 10 minutes. When the questions were asked, France's defence had the answers. It was a gallant display by Ireland when they were down by 15 points to three. They found a way back, but it wasn't enough. Two losses for Ireland, two wins for France. The final score at the Aviva, Ireland 13, France 15.